Hey, good evening, everybody. Corey Newton. We have a nasty, nasty little virus spreading around like wildfire, spiking the unemployment numbers. I tell you, I haven't seen a good take on this yet. I haven't seen anybody's opinion or anything be anywhere close to good. So since it's 2020, I'm just going to give you mine. Released a paper today called Participating and Enforced Idleness Due to COVID-19. I'll post a link to that under this video. But here we go. We've experienced accelerated negative economic impacts of viral contagion in real time, spiking the unemployment numbers up to around 9 million in the last two weeks. As of now, this unemployment is not seasonal, frictional, structural, or cyclical. This is a different kind of unemployment, rooted in executive orders from the states in which the labor force either participates in idleness or idleness upon specific sectors is enforced. The hesitation to shut things down sooner was rooted in trying to figure out how to pay for it. They came up with the CARES Act. The unemployment insurance component of the CARES Act promotes participating idleness. By withholding labor, the workers receive a sum over and above what would have been the competitive value of the total work supplied. But instead of some of the workers moving out to other jobs when the amount of work is thus cut down, they participate in the extra revenues by sharing the reduced supply of work. The business loan component of the CARES Act was designed to take the edge off of enforced idleness. Enforced idleness exists when specialized resources have been A, driven out of one productive employment by legal enactments, by physical violence, by threats, by moral suasion, by strikes, by boycotts, or by the threatened use of discriminatory charges, and yet have not taken on other employment because of some participating rights conferred by idleness. When participating idleness and enforced idleness due to COVID-19 pandemic are lifted, there's a real danger that the adjustment period associated with such idleness will have reallocated and transformed resources in a way that structural and cyclical employment are chronic. Structural employment occurs when workers do not have the skills employers require and their specific skills are no longer in demand. Cyclical unemployment occurs when there are not enough jobs to go around due to an inadequate demand for goods and services and thus for labor. Will the productive value of those currently subjected to participating idleness and enforced idleness be able to generate enough revenue to pay their wages and make their employer profit when the dust settles from this, despite the reallocations and transformations taking place during this adjustment period? Or will the reallocations and transformations taking place during this adjustment period find many of the people currently subjected to participating or enforced idleness structurally or cyclically unemployed? Let me take a breath for a minute. The unemployment is forced unemployment. So to be unemployed, the government says, well, we're going to come up with something. We're going to call it the CARES Act. And you're going to get X amount of money for not going to work in order to reduce the spike of the curve of the virus. So, okay, we're going to, everybody will buy in. They're getting money to participate in that. That's participating idleness. Enforced idleness is we're shutting you down. You're done. But we got a thing called a CARES Act. And you go apply for a loan that's going to be forgiven at some point. So, all those people subjected to that, what's going to happen to their skills? That's the question. So, we force, due to the pandemic, we're going to force participating idleness. And forced idleness is going to relate to a whole bunch of employment spiking, just like the curve in New York is going straight up. The unemployment numbers are going straight up. So, those workers... Once that's gone, once, okay, everybody's allowed to get back to work, everybody is reallocating and transforming how they're operating. Everybody who's left operating like now, I'm involved with a firm that's still operating. I swear to God, in the last three weeks, we have transformed from the way we were to a whole new machine. And so I have to ask myself and many other people running businesses need to ask yourself, once this is lifted, do the people we had a furlough and layoff still have the right skill set? 
everything gets lifted. Is your skill set even relevant anymore just because everybody reallocated their resources to transform the way they did business because they had to be shut down? They didn't have a choice. The machines that rolled on are going to transform and adjust. Is that going to be available also since those adjustments? What about an animate demand? So if you need less demand for workers, they're going to be unemployed or they're going to have less demand for product. This is why I'm asking a question. I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't see anybody frame it like that. I like the way that's framed. I think that's a good frame to observe it from. I'm not going to say analyze. Just observe it from. That's what's really happening. This isn't like all of a sudden. This is forced unemployment. It's participating or enforced unemployment. Talk to you soon. Stay safe.